but we've only got a little bit of that ball left. I'm going to have to go and get another ball from upstairs and wind it on my wool winder into a cake. <laughs> but anyway, this is one of the sleeves. Oh, and by the way, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I was busy thinking about other things before when I started this video. I'm onto the sleeve now. Um, I've done the back in the two fronts. That one, that one, that way. Oh, it's the other way. <laughs> Got them the right way around. Got the back and the two fronts done, and I'm now onto the sleeve on this. Not take too long because it is like Aaron. I'm knitting it on larger needles because I thought it was double knitting. Well, it said double knitting on the label, but it's not double knitting, it's Aaron. But anyway, I've done, been doing a little bit crochet this morning, just a little bit. These are the, um, you know, the the bottom things, the bases that I bought for to do the small bags. And I'm using up this. I'm just going to make this a little bit white around the bottom here and the rest of it's going to be done with this something to where I separate, you know, and do the handle parts and I'll add the white back on for that part. But I just want to use up, really just to use up these. This was one of the only thing I think I bought from, um, that's a majestic yarn that I wasn't happy with. It said chunky on the um, the label, but I think it's super chunky and it's very stiff. It's not suitable for doing clothes or even hats or anything like that because it is sort of stiff and it's got a hard feeling, but it's ideal for these sort of things. So I think I have three balls. After I finish this, I think I have three balls left of it. So that's all I'm going to use. I'm all I'm using it for anyway is to do with these bags. It is suitable, but... I started doing these for the ones I got these originally, the, um, the very first ones of these bases that I bought them for to do children's, the little bags for children. So that's what I'm going to start doing with these, but I'm just doing a little bit crochet in the morning because um, I'm just making this, making these as I can and, you know, just maybe spend half an hour. It took me about three quarters of an hour to do that little bit. It takes quite a while to do the, the bottom bit, longer to do the bottom bit. The, once you get that bit done, you go a bit faster. But I only spent about three quarters of an hour on that this morning. That's do, and then I've got other things to do to finish. So that's what I'm going to do with those. But I, <laughs> getting back to my uh, knitting here. But you know, it was a lovely day yesterday. It's it's still quite mild today. It's supposed to be about seventeen degrees here in the um the northeast where I live. But I swear it's no seventeen degrees. I've been out in my garden, it doesn't feel like that, and it doesn't feel warm in my house either. But I'm not putting my heating on, I've just put the little blanket thing, the heating blanket on my knee that keeps me uh, warm. But yesterday when my granddaughter was here with the tribe, the three kids and the two dogs, it was a beautiful day. It was lovely and sunny. I'm getting sun now and again. The sun's coming in the window now and again, but um, it's not as nice as yesterday. It was very windy yesterday, but it wasn't a cold wind. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my day yesterday because those kids drive you up the wall. <laughs> They come in first, they come in my house first, and this was before we went out for a walk. Um, I'd been sitting having a cup of tea and went into the kitchen with Cheryl and Frankie came in. And, well, I'd had a pizza for my tea yesterday before, and it was one of those boxes. I keep the boxes for, um, it had been in my freezer, so I leave the box out on the bench till it dries out properly. And I cut it out for to put my a back of my knitting patterns when I sell my knitting patterns. Um, any boxes, you know, that I get that I, I can use to put on the back of the patterns in the envelope so that they don't bend and they don't fold them. That's where I keep it though. So it was on the bench for my grand great grandson, yes, Frankie. He's the oldest, a 12-year-old. You look directly, he sees Nana. 
pineapple in ham. Ooh. I says, hey, I like pineapple and ham. I says, don't be so cheeky. He says, but that's horrible, that. I says, you might think it is, but I don't think it is. So shut up and mind your own business. So that was one little thing. And anyway, Tommy came in and I had some, you know, I buy sweets for the kids, but they only get them on a Sunday. I do not buy, if I see them any other time during the week, they do not get sweets off me. There are other nanas do, they, you know, ply them with loads of sweets and that, but they get sweets once a week off me. They get pocket money off me as well, and you have to tell them, you know, I'm not made of money. So Tommy came in, he saw the, um, the box of jelly babies are for him, but they're for Sundays. And he picked it up, you know, and he was running in and, you know, I said, you're not getting them, put them back. They're mine. And his face, I'd seen his face. But, you know, you've got to tell them things like that. They can't just have what they want, what they think they want, and just what they think they should have. They have what they're given, and that's, and that's my way with them. They, they get what I give them. But they go around my house, in the drawers and the cupboards and everything, looking for stuff like that. <laughs> and I tell them off. But anyway, we went for a walk. There's a lot of trucks, um, like I'm saying, there used to be pit heaps. I'm having a cup of tea while I'm talking as well. There was a lot of pit heaps around where, where I live, because there was a lot of pits, mines and things um, in Backworth, where, where I live. But they're all disused now. They're not used anymore now. They're um, probably filled in and that really. Right. But there's a lot of pit heaps. And when my granddaughter was little, her and her brother used to stop with us most weekends. And we used to take them over where these pit heaps were with their, um, their bikes. I had bikes which used to keep at my house. And they used to ride up and down on these little heaps all over. And they really enjoyed themselves when they used to come, uh, you know, riding, riding around like that. But there's been a lot of tracks made. There was a road built and um, a lot of tracks and that. So we lost a lot of the, well, nearly all of the heaps actually. But they're nice tracks to walk along. And we're walking along and the kids were getting a little bit sick, you know, like, because they don't think um, uh, there's anything nice about having a lovely walk in the fresh air and especially when the sun's shining. And <laughs> so we're getting sick and that. And, uh, so I said to Cheryl, I said, you will go along that track, remember, when you were little and we used to go along that track. There's a little track, it's quite a long track, and we got to the end of it and there was a tunnel that went underneath the railway lines and it used to come out on the other side. And I said, we'll go through there and then head back home from there because it comes part of the way back home. And I said, remember when you used to go through it, you used to like to shout and scream in it because your voice echoed when you, you were going under the tunnel and that. I said, the kids are like that. So we walked along, found the track, we started walking along, we got about halfway along the track and there had been a lot of rain, had started the night before and it was rained all night and it was completely flooded. There used to be a dip so far along, there used to be quite a dip and if it did rain we used to get a lot of water there but I've never seen it like this before. It was completely flooded right away going up the side of the bank, there was like a grassy bank thing on one side and there was a um like a little stream running down the other part beside the field well this water must have been coming from the stream as well and the kids had their wellies on and they walked through it and it was halfway up their wellies well and me and Cheryl just had shoes on we couldn't walk through it and we were, we were walking through it with the dogs as well because <laughs> we did probably drowned in it being little dough well they're not that little but it would have been up past the, up to their bellies, the, the water in it. And all the kids were enjoying themselves. They were tramping through it. And of course, little Eddie, being the smallest, he had the smallest wellies on. The water was down in his boots. His pants were soaking. We come back home anyway. That cheered them up a little bit. They had a bit of water to plodge in. And we got back home and I said well, to Cheryl, we're going to do some dinner. So I decided I'm looking through my 
pizzas and that to see what I had, what food I had. There was enough for everybody and we had burgers. So there was enough burgers and I think I'll do some chips. But where I buy those very small potatoes. I like those ones because they're nice for doing the dinner. But I also like them. So if I make chips for myself, I don't do too many because they're small potatoes. I don't like the big potatoes because... They make too many chips for me for one person and if I do that many I'll eat them when I don't want to. So it took me ages to peel all these little potatoes to make some chips and then I was looking through the cupboard and I said oh Cheryl I've got no beans. I've been shopping but I must have forgot to put some beans on my uh, list so we're wondering what can we give them and you know beside the burgers and the the thing is, they didn't want, they didn't like, I had tin tomatoes, but they didn't like those. They didn't want tin tomatoes. And I says, well, I know, I says, I know Tommy likes cucumber. I says, could a few slices of cucumber off on his. I says, we can put some cucumber and tomatoes, say some tomatoes for me and you. I'm saying to uh, Frankie and Tommy. No, Tommy was, oh, he wants the cucumber. But Eddie says, I want an egg. I says, all right, we'll do you an egg then. Frankie doesn't like eggs, so all he had was the burgers and the um, the chips. But before that, Tommy was coming in and thought he was trying to help himself to the fruit out of the bowl because I wouldn't let him have any sweets. And I said, put that back, because you're not having that till after your dinner. You can have anything you want after your dinner. So we sorted that out, we had our dinner, and Cheryl was surprised because they ate everything on the plate, and she says they never do that at home. I says, well, that's probably the fresh air, the good walk. I says, and probably there wasn't a, a pile of food on the plate, far too much for them. I says, you put too much on the plate, that's why they never eat it all. So that was that. That was my day. And then they played with the, um, we had Lego, I had boxes. I keep boxes of Lego belonging to my kids and that when they were, um, well, little. I've got lots of toys and things, you know, but the kids, uh, the age they're at now, uh, they seem to like the um, the Lego, so they were playing with that for a while. Didn't want to go home when it was time to go home. and <laughs> But they were going to their other grandmother's. Their dad's parents are going to his house for... So let's see, you have to go. <laughs> and then I just plonked myself down on the settee after that and thought, oh, that's it, I'm going to have a rest. And, do some knitting. So that was my day yesterday. That reminds me what it was like when you've got three boys. Well, that's what it was like for me with my three when they were little. And so I am going to do what I can of this, try and get this cardigan finished, then I can get the this one and the other one sewn up and get started on the um, the blanket that I have to finish and then start on Derek's. I haven't done the little swatch yet but I still have the ball I'm going to do after this video I'm going to do the little swatch on his for, for his cardigan. You so I'll know how many stitches I have to cast on because he's a big lad so I need a lot more stitches on than normal. But I think the next thing I'm going to knit for myself I put a lot of wool to one side for what I want for myself and it's going to be cardigans. I think I'm going to do a rosewood lace cardigan for myself. I've got a, a rosewood lace sweater but I haven't got a cardigan so I'm going to do a cardigan for myself and start on the things for myself now. And it'll not take too long as I'm not doing orders for everybody and get on with my own things. So that's just my little bit for today, just a little bit chatting, a little bit knitting while I'm chatting and and my cup of tea before it gets cold. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time, so bye for now.